I smell dog shit. Shut up, Steph, you're thinking. You're not supposed to think. Just let the thoughts pass through. Don't hold on to them. Just let them go. I feel so fucking mindful right now. I'm so in the now. It's lovely here. It's like being in the Apple store. Maybe I should be a minimalist too. I could make videos about it. I mean, that's what people want to see these days, smug middle-aged white men making self-help mental health videos. It's the new YouTube crack. Stop thinking, Steph. You're thinking about stuff again. Stop it. Focus on your breathing. Maybe I should come up with a mantra to stop my mind wandering off. I need two words. One for the in-breath and one for the out. Hmm. Well, what could work? I've got, I've got one. Yeah, I've got one. Cross. Fit. Cross. Fit. Ooh. Hey guys, it's November. I can't believe it. Hello, Georgie. Do you want to come and say hello? You know. I'm going to show you the house now. I haven't tidied it because this. I'm filming this on a bit of a whim and my hair's greasy because I've been to the gym this morning. Just ignore all that. Anyway, this is my problem area in my kitchen at the moment. We've still got our garden furniture chairs because our chairs haven't arrived yet. We use this area like three times a day. So yeah, it really needs to be a bit more like easy access. The plants are like super squished up. It's just a bit of a chaos area, this area. And then we've got this little corner, which I really like the look of. Got a little record player, a cheese plant, which really needs a new home because it's just getting battered there. I think it's because we use this back gate, back door so much. And the kids' little table where they sometimes do their painting or have their food together if we're not all eating as a family. You're deep, mate, really fucking deep. I mean, look at you now. You're meditating in the park like some sort of contemporary Gandhi with a Ryan Gosling veneer. I should probably start reading The Guardian and get some yakko from Mikado. Come on, exist in the moment. Pull yourself back to the now. I definitely smell dog shit. I hope I haven't sat in a dog shit. I bet I have. I bet I've sat in a massive fucking steaming turd. That'll be just my luck. Someone said that these lights are really orange. They're actually, um... What's the company? Steph, oh, Hue, Hue. <laughs> Steph is obsessed with Hue lights. Um, so you can actually change the color of these. This is just the color that we have at the moment. It is a mess because we live here and we're not very tidy people. <laughs> My favorite thing in this kitchen is this uh, double sink area because, well, it's not hiding our washing up very well at the moment, but normally it does. This cupboard is an absolute state but it's amazing for storing like everything and then we've got drawers underneath there as well so we have like all of our really unorganized cupboard sometimes i see like other people doing house rules and stuff where they've tidied the cupboard first but you know that's not my style i wonder if my rebrand as a mindfulness coach will stop hannah thinking i'm what was it she called me again oh yeah really two-dimensional what did she even mean by that anyway god she can be such a bitch to me sometimes I literally can't wait to tell everyone about my new soiree into spiritual enlightenment. I wonder if Nike have a meditation range. I'm getting bored now. Oh God, I did sit in a dog shit. Fuck this. Georgie. This is a spicy story. It, it's, it's an article on the Telegraph. Yes, I read the Telegraph. I'm a middle-aged man and I moved to Bath. What do you expect? Secret life of the influencer who turned troll. Clemmy Hopper, known as the Instagram blogger mother of daughters, confessed this week that she runs a troll account on an online gossip forum. I think this troll account that she was running, she's been a little bit, well, she's been quite 
nasty about other influencers. Even her husband, she called her husband a, a twat on it. I find this so fascinating because we tend to think of trolls or paint them, paint these pictures of trolls in our heads as being these really sad, lonely people who just never shower and just live in squalor. There's this whole tapestry that makes up that person that you kind of weave in your own head. And it, I think it's like a coping mechanism. But what this story does is it really shocks you because it's like, oh my God, the trolls can be anyone. They could be your mum, they could be your dad, they could be your kids, they could be your gran, they could be your ex, they could be an, an influencer. Some people have jumped to her defense saying, oh, you don't know what she's dealing with mentally. But on, in the same argument, you could say, you don't know what Hitler was dealing with mentally. You don't know what Stalin was dealing with mentally. You know, is what she did as bad as what they did? I mean, you know, that's for you to decide. I mean. Personally, I'd probably say no, 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 what she did isn't as bad. Yeah, no, definitely, no, what she did definitely isn't as bad as what they did, but it's, but it still is bad and we still have to hold it up and say, this person is a bit of a twat because if we didn't do that and we just sort of said, oh, they're just probably dealing with something mentally, you know, it's difficult and we, we, everything, we, everyone would just be excused. You might as well open the gate, the doors to prisons and let everyone out. Oh, it's okay, guys, you, you're probably dealing with something a bit, you know, difficult at the time. Off you go, you know, hope you learn your lesson. It, it, you, you need to call people out when they do, uh, you know, nefarious things like this. She must know how difficult it is for a lot of people to deal with the negative stuff that they hear about them online. So for her to be involved in that, for her to wade into that toxic swamp and, and drink some and then spit it out in her so-called friend's faces is something I found hard to process. Anyway, let's all move past it now. It's old news. Let's look for the next controversy. Can another YouTuber please do something um, fucked up so we can all um, make content about it, please? Thank you. Just on my way to the gym. I don't normally drive to the gym either. I normally cycle, but my bike's being fixed at the moment because someone tried to break into my bike battery and they've had to like drill it out to fix it. So I've been without it for a week now and this is the second week and it's killing me. I hate driving. It's so much easier riding a bike around because you don't have to get stuck in any of the traffic. But yeah, let's do the gym. Guy Wilmot, how are you, mate? It's me, Steph. Yeah, long time no speak. How's tricks? Yeah, great, great. Uh, we moved to Bath a couple of years ago, had a couple of kids, got a dog, living the dream. I haven't seen Guy or a lot of my other friends from back home in a number of years now. After we became YouTube sensations, I guess a lot of my friends found it hard to relate to me anymore. I don't want to say they were jealous, but just imagine if one of your friends stopped hanging around with you because they were too busy carving pumpkins with Zalfie. It would eat you alive and you know it. Anyway, listen mate, the reason why I'm calling is I heard a vicious rumor that you might be tying the knot, getting, getting married. I wanted, wondered if you could substantiate the rumours. Oh, congratulations! Two words, stag party, followed by three words, when and where. I figured Guy's wedding and subsequent stag party would be the perfect opportunity to make amends and build some bridges and reconnect with some of my old chums. Uh, who's going? Jim, Zach, Ryan, okay, crab, yeah. The whole Motley crew then, wow, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 no, I, no, I totally understand. That's it's just timing, isn't it? Yeah. Guy told me they were all going somewhere called Lisbon in Portugal, but due to an EU summit, every hotel room was booked up, so there was absolutely no way I could come. Anyway, lucky for Guy, there are three things that I definitely don't do. One, I don't take the National Trust for granted. Two, I don't hold back on a buffet. And three, I don't give up on my friends. I did a bit of digging and found out the name of the hotel they were staying in. I called them up and the receptionist told me that they had tons of rooms available and had never even heard of the EU summit before. Which can only mean my stupid mate Guy must have got the dates and the time and even the place all mixed up for the EU summit. I booked a room then and there and decided to fly out and surprise my friend Guy. Through here into our hallway where we have our little collage of photos. Through here is the second part of the lounge which is a bit of a dumping ground to be honest it's got my laundry in it <laughs> and um, we've had to put some of the kids toys up here because we just got back from the gym but when we go out we have to cover up the sofa so the dog doesn't go on it racing track <laughs> extra dog bed and a crock um, our bar area which we're not really using at the moment because we did sober october and it's kind of just stuck around but i'll talk about that more later 
And then this is probably my favourite bit of the lounge, that little shelving area there. So cosy, Grayson's Jiu Jitsu clothes. <laughs> I need to rejig this shelf because it's just got like loads of random stuff dumped on it. Um, this little area I really like. We got that vase when we went to Amsterdam recently, Steph and I, and we also got that one. So my hand luggage was like basically crammed with vases. I was like, this is the most impractical thing that we could take back. But yeah, I need to like make this look pretty because it's not looking too pretty right now. For some reason, Guy didn't seem massively happy with my surprise visit. When I asked him why, instead of hugging me, he said, oh, for fuck's sake, he said it was probably because of the jet lag, which is a bit weird considering the flight was only 90 minutes. The first thing I did was set about establishing myself as the alpha male of the group. To do this, I wore some bootcut jeans, a Ralph Lauren shirt, drenched myself in Izumiyaki, and made sure to apologize to the waitress on behalf of my friends before they even said anything. It was working perfectly. That was until I went off for a whiz, and when I came back, everyone had left the bar. I couldn't get through to any of their phones. They must have been switched off or just not working, so I decided to go back to my hotel room and start writing my memoirs. And for some reason, this kept happening on the stag trip. I'd go off for a wee and I'd come back and poof, they were gone. So, this is our little bathroom. That's a picture that we got in Amsterdam the first time we went. I love this picture. I think it's really cool. Something to look at while you're on the toilet. And then we've got like the wood paneling, which is my favorite thing we did in the house actually. I wish I'd done more rooms that had like floor to ceiling wood paneling. Still might do that. Little towel rack, the towels that we're not supposed to touch, but we do touch. <laughs> and then our bedroom. My bra is on the bed, sorry. <laughs> Steph's washing is everywhere. Um, and we've popped our laundry basket there because it's got our projector on it. And Steph's such a geek that he had a like, projector screen built into the ceiling which is amazing because when you're lying in bed you can watch films and stuff but like on a massive screen my little dressing table area i still need to find a seat for it but i'm hoping to find something at the free market maybe in december another mirror this is the guest room it's a little bit tidier i think than the last time i showed you but it's basically where steph and i keep all our clothes because we still don't have a wardrobe um so this is all my like winter wardrobe stuff which I need to sort out. I feel like I need a clear out and I still find, feel like I don't have the perfect grey jumper <laughs> even though everything I own pretty much is grey. The mirror, I love this mirror, it's from Ikea. This is um, an old Chesterfield which we need to get repaired actually really badly because it's just a bit knackered. And then the bed, excuse Steph's dirty clothes, they're everywhere all over the house. And yeah that's it. There's still so much that I want to do in this room. Um, but we've only been here for a couple of months, so we're still kind of finding places for things and stuff, and that tends to be the room where everything just gets dumped, basically. On the final day of the stag trip, we hired out a yacht and took it out to sea. I was drifting from person to person, telling them how I was rebranding myself as an online mindfulness coach who assumes everyone is chronically depressed, when suddenly Guy decided to make an impromptu speech. I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming, he said. I decided now would be the perfect opportunity to assert my alpha status by giving everyone a speech of my own. So I stood up next to Guy and said, give it up for Guy, everybody. And everyone clapped and he slurred something about not being finished as he sat back down on the deck. I looked down at Guy and said, this must be great for you, Guy, to feel like a VIP for a few days. Am I right? Guy, who was looking out to sea, gently nodded and took a sip of his beer. Well, welcome to my fucking world! I screamed before taking off my top and jumping into the ocean. I was submerged in the water for a few seconds, so sadly couldn't hear the rapturous cheer that definitely would have followed, but who cares? I'll let the universe have this one on me. I come through the hallway and we're in Rufus's room. I got the boys these cute matching names for their bedroom doors, because <laughs> I'm a geek. So in Rue's room, I'm still kind of looking for a rug for in here, because uh, we have floorboards at the moment and that's just like a little Ikea one that's actually from our bedroom. These are both from um, H&M Home as well. They're a bit random at the moment, I haven't really styled them up. And then I got some little linen flags, one of my Mags London prints, a little collection of his teddies. This changes all the time because he becomes obsessed with certain teddies. 
this guy's meant to be up there and so is he but they made it to the cot last night they made it in there for cuddles these little animal heads which i absolutely love and fancy dress and basket of teddies and then we've got another little print up here these are all the favorites at the moment which we keep in this little stand from ikea this chair also needs a little bit of an upgrade um and then through here we'll go to grayson's room it was a perfect day watching the light sparkle and shimmer off my sodden out of shape friends as they awkwardly heaved their pasty mottled flesh out of the ocean and back onto the boat was such a magnificent sight to behold but the best part was that this was the only time on the stag trip that whenever i went off for a whiz everyone was still there when i got back guy if you're watching i just want to say thank you for inviting us and i just want to assure you that you can trust me to uphold the stag code of honor what goes on the stag stays on the stag if anybody's other half finds out about multiple 800 euro an hour eastern european escorts then they definitely did not hear that from me this is probably my favorite thing that I bought for Grayson's room. The like planet, the solar system mobile. And then I already talked about that in a previous video. It's a bit messy in here <laughs> because I have a five year old son who lives in here. Still haven't really finished it. Um, I still need to have a little rejig around. For example, I'm thinking of moving these over into that little cove and then maybe putting his teepee here i'm not sure yet i'm gonna see what it looks like he doesn't really care like his toys are in here and like he doesn't really care how it looks to be honest but i just like doing it and then i got this like old kind of 60s desk which opens up which he loves because he can kind of keep things in it which goes with that chair but i need to get a bedside table for him um so we're using it as like a little bedside table at the moment i'm still absolutely loving the white floorboards that we did and I'm actually going to move this rug more slightly under the bed so that you can see more of the floor because I really love this floor and I think it's a shame that it's covered up. What I'm about to do will make a lot of you people lose a lot of respect for me but it's cool. It involves socks. A decent pair of socks, some nice ones. These are good. These are cool socks. They've got a, good, they've got a really nice um, pattern on them. It's kind of like an Aztec-y pattern. It's lovely. If you have a dad, you'll recognise these. you probably guess what I'm about to do. What are you cleaning, Ray? Really? Thank you. Cleaning the dog. <laughs> it's actually considered cool to wear socks and sandals now. I mean, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. And I am 100% going there. You know why? Because I've been waiting for this to happen for such a long time. Once you have tried socks with sandals, you're gonna see magical things. You're gonna feel magical things. Your feet, they'll be thanking you for years for taking one small stroll in socks with sandals. It is so comfortable. It's beyond comfort. It is, it's divine. I have some jobs to do. You can come and say goodnight to the animals. Night, night, Dolly, say Poppy and Sam. Big spider. Spider. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Miss Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> no. I just wanted to explain why we haven't uploaded a video in the past couple of weeks because it wasn't my intention not to upload a video. It was the simple fact that I wrote myself into a ditch so many times. Like I spent days writing things and then after trying to make them work and trying to produce them and it just I just didn't feel they it just didn't feel it worked. It just didn't feel what I wrote worked. And it's tricky sometimes because sometimes you write yourself into a corner or you write yourself into a ditch and the only way to rectify that is to undo half a day's worth of work. Those of you that have been watching us for a long time will know that the channel tends to go through trends. And that's because sometimes I just like trying new things. And at the moment I'm really into writing stories and they're almost like a, an interpretation of myself. This kind of guy who is me essentially, but he, well, he's not very self-aware and he's a bit of a prick. <laughs> What's he doing? Daddy's putting on his camera. Sometimes it comes together nicely and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I spend a day writing something and it just does not work. It's the reason why it's thrown out these videos for the past couple of weeks because I've just been writing so much and the writing hasn't always gone the way I wanted it to go and I've had to steer it back or undo lots of work and start from the top. But I've always said this, when somebody presses play on one of our videos, I don't really want them to know where we're going to go with it. I, I want there to be ambiguity with with that press. 
Anyway, the point is, it's fun and I really enjoy the writing part, but it is very dangerous because as I've seen for the past couple of weeks, I can easily end up with no time because the writing's become such an important role now. If that doesn't work, then it throws everything else out. So yeah, hopefully I'll get better at writing and I'll get faster at writing. And if I take risks with, uh, with a story, it will be a calculated risk. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, it's super fun and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope there's a couple of bits in there that make you laugh. That's my goal anyway. Why have you got the uh, creepy fox mask on, Steph? I'm gonna do a photo shoot after we go for our walk. And I thought it would be a, uh, I don't know, I thought it'd be like a cool thing to, uh, I thought it'd be a cool look. Last week's video was sponsored by one of our long-term sponsors, LL Bean. They've been sponsoring our videos for the past couple of years now. And this was our last video we made for them. So I wanted to kind of, I don't know, say thank you. So I thought I'd give them like a little, just do a little promo for them, wearing their clothes, putting it up on Instagram. Um, the idea was to go up to the park and wear like a fox mask, just to kind of I don't know, make it look a little bit different rather than just look at my depressing face wearing their stuff. So I tried it, I looked at the video, uh, looked at the shots and they just look really fucking creepy. So. Um, Luckily, I got some ones without the mask and I'm gonna go ahead and use those because I don't think I can use these. These just look a little bit odd and weird, but not in a good way. <laughs> you look like you've had a breakdown. Do I? <laughs> a little bit. I think I have had a bit of a breakdown. Hey, you, Ruthie, look at me. <laughs> Am I scaring you? Run away. Run away? Hey, Georgie, you freaking out? You know, uh, I think you're a dog. Bath is quite a small place, honey. Don't want people to <laughs> start making assumptions about you. <laughs> so you ready for round two reno then? Round two renovation? Yeah, I am actually. Steph and I have basically decided that moving house and buying another property isn't really what we want to do right now. So we're just going to concentrate on doing a little, a few little changes here and there to this house, just to make the space work for us a bit better. I think we're gonna do some cladding because we really like that in our bathroom, so we're gonna continue that as a theme in some other rooms. And we're just looking at like space saving, downsizing, um, and that type of thing, just to make this house work for us because it is a lovely house and I absolutely love it. Some people have been concerned that we don't like the house, but we do, we're just gonna make it cozier, basically. I think it's just you and I like chaos. I think we like I to. We, I think we like to bring things into our lives, which cause uns, us to be unsettled. I think it's every time things are still and calm, we're like, great. What can we do to break this up? What can we do to ruin our lives? That's so true. We've got to appreciate this last beautiful chapter before winter kicks in and all the leaves fall off the trees and it's I feel like it has kicked bleak. in already, it's freezing here. Do you think you're ever going to get bored of that view? No. I don't think I will either. Need to get Georgie a proper coat. Hey, we've got parents' evening tomorrow. Oh, God. There'll be bits of it that will be positive. <laughs> Every time I drag Rue out into the cold, there's a little bit of me that's like, yeah, you were right, Rue, let's just go home and light the fire. <laughs> Come here, you Hello, Johnny, hello. I don't think he's a miniature dash and I think we were missold. We saw a miniature dash the other day who was a year old and it was like half the size. He's definitely not miniature dashened. He's just Never a normal dashened. Never mind, you're still cute, aren't you? You're still our baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for getting to the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just realized I've got some kind of like toddler remnants on my shoulder. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you didn't have toddler remnants. I look like shit as well because I've just taken the boys swimming, so. You look great. I think you look marvelous. Anyway, thank you very much Nick for watching. Look me in the eye and that stuff in me. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you all have a lovely week. We'll see you all next week for more shenanigans. Goodbye. Oh, he's bringing it back. He's bringing it's always it. been there, Cody. It's never been anywhere. I'm just going to say, I've just submitted to it now. I'm that guy. Um, also, if anyone has watched my Instagram stories this week and uh, voted on the reef, the reef has been put up. Yeah, I voted it shouldn't be up. 
than everyone should have voted. Of course you would. I can't believe it's like November. You've been outvoted. And you basically it's want Christmas. to have a reef up outside yeah, of the house. Yeah, the Christmas adverts are on. The Christmas windows are all done in the shops. The Christmas lights are That's switched on. That's the gauge, on. is it? That's okay. Every year is a Scrooge. I just think December. Go for, from December, all no house barred. Tweet everyone Steph go. a message saying stop being no, a don't, Scrooge. Don't do that, don't do that. Anyway, if you would like more of a stripped back vlog, then there is one of those on Hannah's channel. So you can go and watch that. It's very stripped back. Have a lovely week. See you all next week. Bye from all of us and Georgie and everything. Merry Ma Christmas. Massive Dashand, who's definitely not a miniature. <laughs> Mer Merry Christmas. Can we not, you can't say that yet. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye. See you later everyone. Bye. You're not a miniature. I'm giving you back.